back in Elmsdale. So, a couple changes that are being made. This intersections are working good. I had to replace the controller. I think it was something to do with the SDLC from the issue with the last, with the last cabinet. So, there's a new, I'm basically adjusting the zones, and I'm gonna be swapping these 112s for click 114s. Um, no, we're good. Um, yeah, we're gonna be, I'm gonna swap them for 114s so I can take advantage of uh, having a couple more channels might set up the uh, red extend with I haven't done it with this setup yet I usually do it with the 650 or the 656 but with a couple spare channels I should be able to do it no problem so there's also a new zone which is channel 2 on phase 8 oh so preempt 2 just actually came on Oh yeah, the train's coming through. So there's your so our track clearance actually just started. So these lights are about to start. So we'll do preempt two. There it is. So preempt two is your advance, and then preempt one is your gate down. So now we have 20 seconds left of preempt. zone does is it has a, a delay on it so if people queue on the tracks like right now it has a 10 second delay on it and especially when big trucks come through here there's a 10 second delay zone goes active and then there's a second 10 second delay in the controller and if phase two and six is green it will force off that phase and reservice. So there you go, actually it's calling now. So it calls logic flag two. So it might actually force off before the calls drop. Yeah, it's a force off. Goes to the next phase. So sometimes it sees that those cars are on this whole thing, but it's more of a safety thing, just when you got big vehicles coming through here. Sometimes they'll back up onto the tracks and the trains fly through here. So it just kind of helps prioritize phase four and eight. When there's a big queue, because we don't run the arrow, arrow only operates during 
preemption. So, in where we don't have any cue cutter signals here or any sort of overlaps or anything else, I figured this special function would at least help allow get cars moving out of here. So logic flag two is for the force off, but if the greens turn off, then logic flag two immediately drops. Uh, and I also have logic flag one set up for red rest here. So there's no main street, side street here. I, it's looked at as uh, both roads are equally as important. So the timing plan's the same, so 25, or it's like 30 seconds max, 40 seconds dynamic max, or something like that, for 2468, and a five second leading pedestrian interval in each direction here. So, and you can see in the controller, phase three is set to omit when the preempt is not active. And then we have a backup battery here as well. PTZ camera, all that fun stuff. Preemption relays. So there's your phase eight. So yeah, I'm gonna swap up these with 114s to get a couple extra zones in here and uh, make this run a little bit more efficiently. So there you go.